Hello all and welcome back. This is Professor V here. I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about the title block and border. For some of us, this may be review and for others, this may be new information. So let's just dive in. As you can see in front of you, I have a title block and a border set up. Every sheet of construction documents that you run across, you will see that there is a title block and a border around that title block. For all of the borders, they are created, whether it's hand-drawn or digital through our AutoCAD, they're drawn with very dark lines. Now these dark lines are consistent throughout your drawing because your borders represent where things start and stop and where your information is contained into that space. The title block must contain information that identifies each sheet and also other information about you as a designer or the company in which you're employed with. Your title block sizes will vary depending on the standards that you create as an individual freelancer or a company or a school or university in which you're attending. Your title block also sets off from a borderline that is about a half an inch spacing from the outside of your drawing sheet. Now this half inch spacing goes all the way around on all four sides of your drawing sheet. However, for some cases, such as needing to use have a space for binding, over to the left side, you will have a border that has a spacing or a border margin of one and one half of an inch. Sometimes you will see title blocks that are along the right side of the paper. Sometimes you will see them along the bottom of the paper. It all just depends on the firm or company in which you are working for and what their standards are in creating their title blocks at that time. Inside of that title block, you have information such as the company name, if there's a logo, you also have the designer's name, you may have the drawing title along with the scale, and also other information such as the sheet number and sometimes the date is also found in your title block. So let's go ahead and dig in once again a little bit further to see how a title block is created. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to draw a title block on your 18 by 24 inch vellum sheet. Right now I have set up my drafting board. My 18 by 24 inch vellum sheet is taped down at all four corners. And then I have my tools ready to use. I will be using a architectural scale and we will be working with the one inch on the scale so you will have the one inch on one end and you will have your half inch on the opposite end you will be needing your mechanical ink your mechanical pencil and then you also will be needing a triangle to draw your vertical lines if you do not have a drafting board you can also have the option of using your t-square and you will place your T-square along the side of a table or surface and you can move up and down the surface with your T-square to have your horizontal line to create that, ver that parallel bar. First, as we begin to draw our title block, we will need to create those margins. We will have a half inch margin along the right side and at the top and both the bottom of your vellum sheet. Then on the left side, we have a binding margin that is one and a half inch scale. So what I'm going to do at this time is go ahead and take my architectural ruler and look at my half inch on my scale. I'm gonna place that half inch on my very end of the right edge of my vellum sheet and simply make a mark 
that marks a half inch from the edge of the paper inward. For this video, I am using a black Sharpie to give some depth and thickness to my lines for viewing. From there, I'm going to do the same for my top margin. Let's see, I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to measure a half inch down. And I'm going to make a mark. And then I'm also going to move this parallel bar up and do the exact same thing at the very bottom, creating that half inch margin. Now that I have my marks created, I am then going to go to the left side of the paper and make that one and a half inch margin. So I'm going to move down to my one inch on my scale. I'm going to measure in one whole inch and then go in another half. That will put us at the 18 mark. And I'm just going to line the zero up to the left side of my paper and then make the mark for that one and a half inch. Now I have my marks and I'm ready to begin to create my lines. What I would like to do again is to start over on my right hand side of my drawing sheet. I'm pulling my parallel bar down to the bottom or somewhere near close to the bottom or you can also start at the top and I'm going to line my triangle up to the mark that I created and then go ahead and draw my line. Sliding my parallel bar down while keeping my hand on it so that it stays in place. I'm going to continue the line down. In some instances, in most, we will have to slide our parallel bar up, take our triangle and flip it upside down to continue this vertical line to the bottom of our sheet. Then from there, I can move my parallel bar up to the top of my sheet and begin to draw my borderline at the top of my sheet off of the mark that I created. I can move it down to the bottom to the mark that I created at the bottom of my sheet and draw my line straight across. And again, I'm going to take my triangle, line it up to the line that was created on the left side of my drawing sheet. And then draw my last border line that is vertical. Now you may need to go through and connect some of your corners. Moving my triangle down so that I can connect the bottom of this vertical line to the horizontal line. From here, we at least have our border created. At this point, now we can begin to draw our actual title block on the right hand side of our vellum sheet. The title block thickness is measured at two inches thick. So again, I'm gonna be using my one inch scale and I'm gonna measure over two inches. Starting at the zero, I'm gonna measure one, then two. So I can place the number two right on the edge 
of the margin line I created and measure in to make my mark. Once your mark is on your sheet, you can again use your triangle, place it on your parallel bar, line it up nicely, and go ahead and proceed to put in the vertical line. You want to hold your triangle and your parallel bar so that everything holds steady. And then again, I will slide this up, turn my triangle upside down, holding it steady with my left hand, and go ahead and continue my line down to the bottom of my sheet to meet the edge of the bottom line. Now at this point, we have created that two inch title block thickness. From here, now it is time to begin to create and section off your title block so that you can have a space for your logo, your name, the title portion of this sheet, and then also at the very bottom, you will have a space for your page number. The first square that we will be creating will be the spacing for your logo. That thickness is two inches in width, in length, going downward. So I'm gonna take again my one inch scale, I'm gonna line my zero on the very top line and measure down two inches. So I have my one inch scale and I'm gonna count in one inch and two inch. Make my mark and then use my parallel bar to begin to draw that horizontal line. Now, I was currently demonstrating how to put your title block to the right side of your drawing paper, as shown here on this floor plan example. However, you will run across instances where you are required or you will see other construction documents with your title block along the bottom of your paper. Those margin measurements will be still remain the same. However, it is just a difference in the placements of actually where the title block lies. Now these changes occur according to either the school or institution standards that are being used or the firm or company in which you are working for. Also, your title block information will vary. Some will have a company logo, some may just have the company name, or you will see with it with both. You will have information such as possible addresses of the actual company or the individual, the customer or the client. You may see title blocks with the dates and different dates of revisions for when changes are made. Of course, all title blocks will have that sheet number listed somewhere on there and whatever the actual drawing title is and the scale in which the drawing is created at. This information again will vary according to the company standards, the institution standards, or if you are, as I mentioned earlier in the video, a freelancer and you set and create your own standards in which you will like your drawings to be drawn at. I hope this video once again helps someone to refresh their mind on creating title blocks and also is a great lead in for those that are just getting into the field of design and are learning how to create your title blocks as you prepare to create your drawings on your construction document sets. If you are interested in seeing more of what interior design is about, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also share with those and give them an insight as to what to look forward to in the field of design.